In this video, I'm going to show you how to use displacement maps, which when added to your design will add a more realistic look and feel to the image. In this particular example, we are going to be adding a paper with creases, texture to this poster, and then adding it also as a displacement map. So when we add the texture initially with a blend mode of multiply, you can see that you know the, the shadows and highlights do a pretty good job of making it look pretty realistic. But I want it to go a little bit further than that. So we're going to save this as a displacement map.psd. And then we're going to remove the pattern poster and set the blend mode on the texture back to normal. We're then going to reopen our design, go to our poster smart object, and we're going to go to filter, distort, displace, and you've got horizontal and vertical scale. Basically, it defines how much you want it to go vertical and obviously horizontal. We'll leave it at 10 and 10 for now. Then we're going to select our displacement map and it's going to alter the image slightly. And as you can see down here, our text is slightly moving to um, the highlights and shadows. So if we turn this place off, you can see that's our normal multiply image with our post underneath but when I add the displace as well it kind of follows the shadow and highlights if we go back to our displacement map we are going to add a little bit of a Gaussian blur so it's not so sharp and we're going to save that and because we've changed it we've got to reapply the displace choose it again as you see, it's not so sharp anymore. Um, we might want to bring this down slightly to perhaps five and five, and then choose it again. As you can see, you can see that it flows with the creases now in the paper rather than just the highlights and shadows. It's the before and after. Obviously, this is a very basic example of what you can use displacement maps for. We'll try to go more in depth of them um, in further videos, but for now, I'll see you soon.